Hey guys, what's up? My name's Lana, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about having faith. Okay guys, before this video starts, I actually have another, I just noticed while I was editing that I have a video about having faith already. So this is gonna be part two explaining different things because I do talk about it differently. But if you guys wanna go check out that video on how to build your faith, that's what it's called. The link will be in the description. All you have to do is uh, unfold this, unfull screen this video if you have it full screen and just click that little arrow by the title and it will drop it down and it'll be the first link it will say uh the video and i hope you guys just enjoy this video and let's get into it so first off i'm just going to talk about this light switch and this our pastor actually gave this to us today and he was talking about faith which kind of inspired me to do this video today but it was talking about always having your faith turned on and just like having uh that as an example turn Keep that light switch on and have your faith turned on for you. Keep it on and never turn it off no matter what happens or what you're going through. Always have faith and look to scripture during what's happening or what, whatever you're going through or any time. Just have faith in God that know and speak scripture into your life and know that everything's going to be good. So no matter what you're going through, no matter like pain or anything, if you're going through pain, keep on speaking by his stripes I am healed, by his stripes I am healed, by his stripes I am healed. Just speak that scripture that speaks to you in in your life. Uh, going through uh, Romans 8.18, 8, actually, the, joy, the pain that you're feeling can't compare to the joy that is coming. Keep on speaking that into your life. The pain, and put your name in there. Just be like, the pain that I've been feeling can't compare to the joy that is coming. Like, just speak that and put that into your life and speak that into your life and promise you when people have faith, that gets God's attention for sure. When you look towards God and you just have complete faith in him, no matter what, that's going to get God's attention and it's going to show him just like the blind man that was sitting on the road and all the, he was crying out to God because he heard that Jesus was coming. He was just saying, heal me, I'm blind. Like, and they had like coats that they put on them to show that they were blind. And the disciples were like, no, shh, be quiet. All these people telling them to be quiet. But no, he just screamed even louder, helping to God. And that got God's attention. He didn't care. And he had faith. And he knew that God was going to heal him. And he knew when Jesus was coming to him, he took off that coat. Because he was like, oh, I'm not going to be blind anymore. Kind of just stole the words from my pastor right there. But it's okay. <laughs> Just knowing having your faith always on and seeking him no matter what you're going through is going to get God's attention. And just even though it's not happening right now in that situation, it's going to get better. You just have to have faith and maybe God is trying to grow your faith a little bit more and just speak that into your life every time you feel doubtful or just any time of the day, even when you're feeling great, just speak it into your life and know that you're going to be fine. And no matter what's happening or anything that's happening, it could be good or bad, just Always having faith in God and being persistent, knowing and just having a relationship with him and loving him and just knowing that everything's going to be okay with God by your side because he does everything for us. We just have to let him come in and do it and just have faith in him that he's going to fix this situation for us. We know that he is there for us and not against us. And we just know that God is going to have our backs in everything that we do. And even when we can't see it or feel it, he's still working and we can just move into his life. And he can just move into our lives. I know John 16, 33, that we will have tribulations, but be of good cheer for he has overcome the world. And God can overcome the world in us. We just have to have faith and know that he is with us. Faith goes with basically anything. You have to have faith in God that he is going to be there for you. And anything and any time in any situation, you have to have faith that we're just going to have a new day, have oxygen, anything. You put your faith in anything. You have faith in your phone when you wake up and when you check your phone that it's going to be working. You have faith that your lights are going to turn on. You have faith that you're going to have bottled water today. You have faith that you're going to have a good sleep tonight. No matter what you're going through or anything, it doesn't even have to apply to God. You're going to have faith in self. So why can't we have that strong of faith? with something so simple with God. When you studied all day for that test and now you're going to uh, go take it, you have faith that you're gonna do good on that test. If we study God's word, then we know we're gonna be faithful to him, right? Because we know him and we get to know him better when we read his word and more about him and what he's done and what he can do. So just like studying for a test, we have to study God's word and that will give us more faith if you get what I'm trying to say here. The more we dig in, and just 
press into God, the more we're going to have faith with him because our relationship grows more. You're going to have more faith in a best friend than a stranger, right? Because you spend time with them and you get to know them more. That's why we have, we can build our faith in God. If you want to build your faith, get into his word, start praying, reading more, and just living out what he has for you. Have faith in him no matter what it is, how crazy it seems that he wants you to do. Just let God move through you and move in your life and just open up into your life and have faith that he's going to do good. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this. I just hope you guys have a great, amazing rest of your day. And I'll see you guys next time when I post at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time on every single Sunday. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, I consider hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button. If you do enjoy my content, and click that little bell right by the subscribe button. You get notified every single time I post a video. Comment any video ideas that you think are just how this video helped you or any like praise reports or uh, prayer requests. I'm glad to read them all and it will really help my channel out. And I just hope you guys enjoy this video and y'all just have a blessed day and I'll see you guys later. Peace.